Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Cons Prepper with two of the Cons Prepper helpers. Hey Preppers! And this video is about 3D printing and how I'm using it to support my emergency preparedness and my emergency communications plan. And also a quick channel update that my time in Bolivia is almost over. I'll be home in Virginia in three and a half weeks and I'll be able to get back out to the retreat location and make better videos for you guys. All my radios are packed up and ready to go back. The things you see here on the table are also getting packed up and sent back to the States. But in this video I wanted to go over the new 3D printer that I got and some of the things I've been able to make with it. The printer you see here is a Creality CR10S Pro and I purchased it from a company in Houston, Texas, tinymachines.com and I'm going to put a link down below to their website. You can get this machine on a lot of websites. But I highly recommend reaching out to Tiny Machines if 3D printing is something you want to get into because I have found their customer support and technical support to be outstanding. It was a learning curve for me getting into 3D printing. I had lots of questions. I had a few problems. But I was always able to pick up the phone and within a few minutes I had an answer and I was back in business. Some of the things that I've printed. Those of you who follow the channel, you might remember this power box that I made a few months ago to power my digital radios. This is a commercial European style electrical box. It did the job, but I never really was quite happy with it. As you can see, there's lots of hot glue in there and I had to do a lot to make it work. So one of my first projects was designing and printing a combo box to hold all my electronic components and I printed this on that machine. What you see in here are two Raspberry Pi computers, two 12 to 5 volt power supplies to run the Raspberry Pi computers, a wireless access point, a passive PoE injector, some Anderson power pole connectors, and an Ethernet jack. The other thing I started printing with the printer is mounts for the Ubiquiti radios. So here I have a Ubiquiti bullet radio mount, and you can see the detail. I actually printed my call sign in there and actually wrote out Arden Node. And these channels here are designed for zip ties and the curve here is for an inch and a half inch pipe. The radio goes in the cradle like that and then this clamshell part goes on top. 10 millimeter bolts holds it together. I also started making mounts for nano stations and my nano loco stations so when I get back out to the retreat I can mount these on poles or on the side of the house and start setting up my digital network out in West Virginia. For my drone, I actually made a little case for my GPS tracker. This is the receiver. So I've been able to get a lot done with this printer in a short amount of time. And I'm seeing a real application for emergency preparedness, especially if you need to make parts if something breaks and you can't get to a hardware store or you're trying to do something custom and unique. Having a 3D printer might be something you might want to add to your emergency preparedness kit. So that's the quick channel update on the Creality CR10S Pro printer and me getting everything packed up, head back to Virginia and then on out to the retreat in West Virginia. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the Cons Prepper with a brief 3D printing video. I apologize for the poor lighting and a quick channel update. Thanks for watching everybody.